So, I'm here. Who are you? The name's Danette. I'm Frey. Yes, I know. Follow me. You could at least say thank you. Thanks for letting me out. Wasn't that hard, was it? We're not safe here, so I suggest we get the hell out of here. Why were you locked in there? We'll talk about that later. Now I have to check you. What? You're Jane Frey, one of the best prototypes that came out of Meridian Research. You've got both physical and mental modifications and improvements. You're a super soldier, but according to your file, there's something wrong. You're dying. I don't feel like I'm dying. It's a slow but visible process. Your neural network is overloaded. You have more functions than your brain can handle. I don't feel like there's anything wrong. Right now, yes. But we have to do something about it. Your file says they've deactivated most of your functions. Look. I'll try to unlock one of the basic ones. Pick one. Your mental capacity should improve in time. I'll be checking you regularly. When your mental level improves, I can activate some of your abilities. You're more or less stable for now. How do you know all of this? Who are you? Somebody like you. Another experiment. But we don't have time for this now. I'll tell you all about me later, but I suggest we concentrate on our survival for now. So, what happened? My last memory is of killing that asshole Wagner. And with his death, everything. The core of the response military unit was awakened. They contacted the Earth and started to put everything in order, which meant extermination of everything that Wagner had made, including us. They sent a unit to capture you at once. You must have lost your short-term memory when they used paralyzers on you. Including us? Because we are the research subjects, and new orders concerning the subjects are exterminate or secure in cryostasis for later assessment. And even if the later assessment didn't mean death for you, removal of all your augmentation would turn you into a blind and possibly mad cripple. If you don't believe me, you can read the orders they have. I've mailed them to your reader. What now? We can't hope to survive against the crew on our own, so I suggest we find some help. I managed to find the location of Minikin's cryo chamber. You have to find him. Who's that? Michael Steele, aka Minikin. He used to be the chief engineer of the ESS Meridian. We need him. With his technical skills, we have a chance to survive, and I'm sure he'll be willing to help us. How do we find him? There's a human storage area in the ship. You'll have to get in there. Human storage? It's a huge area filled with hundreds of crew members stored in hibernation chambers. Minikin's frozen there. You have to wake him up and bring him here. Let's do this. Great. I'll connect to the ship network and help you in any way I can. Elevator nearby. It should take you down to the storage area. The elevator is locked. How unexpected. I'll try to hack into it, but it might be faster if you look for a key card.
quite sure it's really him, not one of his clones. They cloned him? He used to be the chief engineer, and also one of White's first experiments. Failed ones. They put him in the cryo- You are not a restricted and guarded person. Please wear your identification visible at all times. Don't worry, there don't seem to be any guards at the moment. Hurts. 
Fuck science. Medicine hurts. Talk to him. Try to wake him up. Stand up. This place isn't secure. We need to leave. Minikin, no. No science. No more. Hey, I'm Jane. Don't like those science types either, but they're coming for us. We need to hit the road. No science. Minikin hurts. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Come on, we have to move. Minikin. Minikin trusts. Minikin goes. But Minikin hurts.